Hi, I'm Demola Sonyaolu, reporting for Nollywood Broadcasting Service, the Backstage Story Show. I have with me a notable figure in the Nollywood industry, and uh, is an actor, is a producer, uh, is a filmmaker, generally. I have with me Yemi Black. Yemi Black is here with me, and we're going to be talking extensively about his life, his childhood, and how far he's gone in his adventure in Nollywood. Yemi Black. Uh, it's nice to be here. It's nice to see you. Um, it's really exciting to always have a chance to reach out to the fans, to reach out to the people who have supported over the years, and just say thank you, and then share bits of um, my life uh, with them. So it's really great to be here. An actress and producer. I am on the Backstage Story Show with Demola on Nollywood Radio Fun. Hello, fans. It's your girl Mahida. My real name is Caroline Sam. What's up? I'm on the Backstage Show and with Demola on Nollywood Radio France. I am Zach Oji, an actor, filmmaker, and media consultant from Nigeria. And I am on the backstage story show with Demola on Nollywood Radio Far. Olu Jacobs. Uh, I am on uh, on the backstage story show uh, with Demola on Nollywood Radio France. Um, my name is Yinka Lawansen, aka Lamborghini, and uh, aka Mr. Loverman. And right now I am live at the backstage story show with Demola on the Nollywood. Radio France. My name is Tunde Kelani TK. Uh, right now I'm on the backstage story show with Demola on Nollywood Radio France. I'm a makeup artist and a unique beat maker. I'm on backstage story show with Demola Sonyaolu on Nollywood Radio France. I am Tunyi Harifayon, also known as Arifi. I'm on the backstage story show with Demola on Nollywood Radio France. Atube Tutungwalu Atube De. Yo, it's your boy live in the building, SOJ. Two years with Demola on Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio Fan. My name is Temitayo Adeneye, also known as Shakira. I'm on the Backstage Story Show with Demola on Nollywood Radio Fan. My name is Remy Adeneye Shida. I'm live with Backstage with Demola on Nollywood Radio France. Hey, this is your homeboy Osh Michael, Mr. r and I'm monkeying around with Demola on Baxi Stage Show on Nollywood Radio France. For authentic, verified news and information, for all-round entertainment, exclusive interviews and drama, for a rich multilingual radio broadcast in English, French and Yoruba, local and global coverage of your events for diaspora audience. www.nollywoodbroadcastingservice.com Cyprian Josen takes you on a fun-filled adventure on the Cyprian Josen Show. www.nollywoodbroadcastingservice.com Rebecca Moyer takes you on a trip of gist and gossip on the Nollywood Spotlight Show. www.nollywoodbroadcastingservice.com Nature's Elixir explores natural remedies to all ailments with Tony Arifayon. The Backstage Story Show with Demola Soyalu is packed with fun and excitement. Also join Margaret Olufunke Adirinyoye on Yoruba Dunso, the Yoruba segment of Nollywood Broadcasting Service. It doesn't end there. The building stays is in its eating. Mobile friendly takes us with you anywhere. Yes, mobile friendly on Android, tabs, PCs and other mobile devices. Simply connect from any corner of the globe on www.nollywoodbroadcastingservice.com. Entertaining you is our main objective, and we are committed to doing just that. www.nollywoodbroadcastingservice.com All around Nollywood, around the world. Let's start from the start. Um, Nollywood, your adventure. Introduce yourself properly to the listening audience and tell us your adventure in Nollywood. No, my name is Jimmy Black. I'm an actor, uh, songwriter, um, producer, uh, and uh, 
it's 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 been very beautiful working in Nollywood because um, I always wanted to be an actor. I didn't dabble into acting at all. And um, when I joined professionally uh, in 2004, 2005, uh, I thought it was going to be uh, an easy ride, just getting show my talent, and the world would go oh, you know. But then I realised that you know. That's, there's a reason it's called showbiz. That's a show and there's a business of it. And in no uh, short time, I learned about the business of it. And, um, you know, it, I'm really glad that the public accepted me and then I've been able to showcase uh, my talent to the world. And um, there's still a whole lot more to do. We're just getting there. Now, would you say your, your childhood contributes, uh, contributed to... You're, you're, you're finding yourself in, in Nollywood. Were, were there certain things you were doing when you were younger that pointed to the fact that you were going to become a movie star? Uh, Im immensely. Uh, uh, one's personality is one's personality, and I've always had an outgoing personality. Albeit I have a bit of a conflict with that because I'm, I'm the most outgoing person that you ever knew, but at the same time, I'm a homeboy all the way. You know, but when I was growing up, it was very evident that I was going to be a people's person. I used to communicate um, with people love to tell stories, love to be in the midst of things happening. I like to, people would actually tell me their stories so that I could recount to the rest of our friends. Because they always say, oh, Yemi would tell the story better. You know, so, um, and that led to embellishment. So the story would grow. And in, at the end of the day, the person who had the story would actually beg me to tell them their own story. Because different facets of uh, the story will be different because I would have added to it, padded up with my own imagination. So that's it. And then, I was involved in drama in primary school. I was the captain of my um, of my secondary school acting um, department in 1989, and you know, so it just grew on and went on like that. So right, now you are from the Yoruba origin, yes. And but there's this black in your name, which sounds foreign. Yeah. What's your real name? What's your real surname? And why the why did you adopt the black in your name? Great. My name is Jimmy Black. Um, to find out about the black, you have to do a bit of research. And hey, why not? It's always time for people to, to learn some things on their own. I'm not going to say everything. So, next to the to, to next question. <laughs>
I am Franklin Okoro, film producer, National Public Relations Officer of Association of Movie Producers Nigeria. I am on the Backstage Story Show with Demola on Nollywood Radio France. I am Chijuki Alfonso Singobiri, cinematographer, musical video director and editor, also the CEO of CJ Films. I am on the Backstage Story Show with Demola on Nollywood Broadcasting Service. <laughs> You are from Ondo State. Ondo Town. Ondo, Ondo State. Town, Ondo State. Where in Ondo State? And your parents, did they give you the full support when you wanted to move in properly into Nollywood? Yeah, I'm from Ondo Town, Ondo State. Um, uh, my parents have always supported my decision to take entertainment as uh, a profession. And so when I told them I was going to start, I studied theatre arts. So when I moved to Lagos to say, look, I'm pursuing this, they gave me the full blessings and they're really proud of me. So today, uh, they're always. Uh, struggling to see my next movie and if there's a billboard or there's an advert they go, yeah, we saw that one so they're like my biggest fans really <laughs> Now, uh, you, you delved properly into Nollywood in 2004 yeah. then and now would you say there is an advent of growth would you say the metamorphosis has been very productively meaningful so far from your own experience as a producer and a movie actor? It's, um, it's, grown, in, it's grown exponentially. Uh, when we started, uh, the avenue, the acceptance wasn't the same as it is today and the structure is different. Then there was uh, little or no structure for marketing, for everything was all subsistence. There's still a lot of it. That's subsistence right now, but uh, things have grown and things have solidified over the years. So right now, there's a whole lot more money being made. There's a whole lot of money being made. There's a whole lot um, uh, more ground being broken. So yes, there's been a huge growth in, in Nollywood. All right. Now um, you are still on the backstage story show on Nollywood Broadcasting Service, and I've been speaking with Yemi Black. Yemi Black is a notable. Nollywood actor is also a producer, he's a songwriter, he's a musician. Now, you in music and Nollywood, it's quite a whole lot of stress for both fields. How are you able to combine the, um, the are you able to combine the, the, how do I put it, the talents of both and manage that, both fields? That it's not uh, stress at all. It's um, talent in the arts, most of the time, uh, is uh, manifold. Um, a lot of actors can write by default and that writing it's a, sometimes it's actually overlooked that if you're an actor you can write you know but writing it itself is an art you know it's a it's a different talent but because it's all in the arts writing uh, talking like emceeing um, uh, acting singing drawing uh, those things usually walk in cl they're moving clusters you know, so that's just being how it, um, how it is. So for me, I haven't uh, delved into music professionally, but I've just started working on uh, my singles. I've been singing for a long time. I've been uh, writing music since '88, but uh, now I've decided to to showcase my talent again. I'm not really doing music per se for for financial gain. I'm doing it because if I die without putting out an album, I'm going to die unfulfilled. It's very important that I win it or lose it, I'm going to put that part of me that seeks for an avenue of, of expression, I'm going to put it out. Make your marriage work. Make your marriage fun. Make your marriage exciting. Enjoy endless marital bliss. Let us help you rekindle the fire of love. Join me, Antonia Smart, on Bliss Talk as we explore the secrets to endless marital bliss on Bliss Talk on the Backstage Story Show on your award-winning media channel, Nollywood Radio France, on Nollywood Broadcasting Service. Bliss Talk, reigniting the flame of love.
Sony Arifanyo. And I am Demola Sonyaolu. Join us on every exciting episode of Nolly Parrot on the Backstage Story Show on your favorite channel, Nollywood Radio France on Nollywood Broadcasting Service. It promises to be informative, educative, exciting and adventurous as we give you top stories in Nigeria's tabloids and magazines. Every episode of Nolly Parrot is filled with fresh, crunchy news for listening audience all over the world. Visit www.nollywoodbroadcasting.com and enjoy the richly unique flavor of Nolly Parrot and other interesting programs. Nollywood Broadcasting, all around Nollywood, all around the world. About uh, the movie that projected your image properly in Nollywood, started 2004. So, what what particular role did you play, and what movie launched you into the uh, ocean of? Uh, I would say Letters to a Stranger. It's a movie that I shot 2005, 2006, just when I was still fresh in the industry, and um, it was a romantic comedy. The first of this, Letters to a Stranger. Okay. It was a romantic comedy that came out. And, uh, sh- uh, well, before Letters to a Stranger was Lost to Lust. That's my first lead role that I ever played. And people really accepted it. People were asking, who's the new guy? Who's the new guy? You know, and because I've always loved to... I, I don't think acting should be like acting. I think that acting is about being a character that you're asked to portray in as much as the character needs uh, expression. You, the character uses your body for the length of time that you're shooting. So um, I believed in it, I did it, people liked it, and uh, that's been the way that I've been since that time. So it was first Lost to Lust, as L O S T to L U S T, and then after that was um, Letters to a Stranger, and after that was an avalanche. Now, you, you've not been in the, in the public domain concerning scandal in terms of marriage and issues like that. How are you able to manage your own front and your career? And how are you able to shield yourself from the scandal that, that dominates or permits this uh, industry? Well, I'm, I'm not uh, in, uh, in as much as I work in entertainment. I'm not uh, someone who seeks a lot of attention, on, you know what I mean, like, uh, a lot of um, unnecessary attention. So I'd rather just do my work, and when I'm not working, I like to keep a low profile. I believe that when you're all out there, uh, my people have a proverb and say, I ain't really, really calling mommy. There's no way that you walk really far without having your head uh, shake a little. But if you limit your steps, then maybe your head will shake less. This is a Backstage Story show. I've been speaking with Yemi Black. Yemi Black is my guest today. Um, Yemi, before you go on, uh, what advice do you have for the younger folks? Some, you have a lot of people that see you as role model. And you are a mentor to a lot of people, even in absentia. A lot of people see you and they see you as role model. How do you cope with your fans, one, then two? What advice do you have for the younger folks who want to be in the movie industry and they think it's a bed of roses? Well, it's not a bed of roses. Um, nothing really is uh, as easy as it looks. Uh, the world of entertainment more so projects a falsehood, sort of, that people do not understand. What they see is the, the glitter and the glamour. And they see people on the screen living these glamorous lifestyles. But someone stopped me on the streets a couple of days ago, literally, and he said, oh, you know what, I want to be, a, I want to be an artist, just in case you know any, uh, any artist. I'm a rapper, blah, 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 blah. And he, was, um, he wanted to be a star. And I told him, don't lose focus because what you see is a finished product. Even shooting those videos that you watch where those people are just shaking all over the place and everything, even shooting that is a job. It takes a lot of planning. It takes a lot of hard work. But you don't see that. What you see is a finished product. So a lot of people just see actors or television, just live in big houses and stuff and think, oh, wow, I just want to be that, you know. And they say, oh, God, you were funneling that girl. I want to be a but it's a lot of work, it's a lot of hard work. So I tell them, nothing good comes easy, that you put in a lot of hard work, make sure they train themselves, because talent itself is not enough. Skill has to be added to it, training has to be added to it, and a lot of back-breaking hard work, and after that, success will come. All 
right? I still have a lot of questions, but I don't want to take your time. Now, on the final note, what message do you have for your fans and people that see you as a mentor? I really appreciate the support over the years. Um, if I had to pay for it, I couldn't afford it. So I really, really, really appreciate the fact that um, you have supported over the years. And uh, for anyone who wishes to do and desires to do what I, what I do, please put your back into it, work hard, train yourself, and believe in God and yourself. All right, that's Yemi Black. Put your back into it, work hard, pray, and do your best. This is the Backstage Story Show. I am Demola Sonyolo. Until I meet you again, do well, keep well, and stay atop your game. Bye for now. Thank you.